Polygon Exterior Angle Theorem. We're at 6.1c with two previous videos for Chapter 6 that you can find in the Geometry Playlist. In this polygon, an exterior angle has been measured at each vertex. If we add them up, we have 147, 132, and 81. We get 360 degrees. And the exterior angles are formed by the extensions of a side of a polygon. See how we just extend it? Take a look at this one. Now, that was a triangle. Now we have a pentagon. And the sum of the exterior angles of this polygon also equal 360 degrees. We total up all of these measures. We get 360 degrees. Even though they're two different figures. One's a triangle, one's a pentagon. So the polygon exterior angle sum theorem says the sum of the exterior angle measures one angle at each vertex of a convex polygon is 360 degrees. So remember, convex means that the vertices are pushing outward and the diagonals are on the inside. Concave is when it's kind of caving in and we can put a diagonal across those points on the outside there, the exterior diagonal. We can find the measure of each exterior angle of a regular hexagon. A hexagon has six sides and six vertices. And the sum of the exterior angles would equal 360 degrees. That's our theorem. The measure of one exterior angle would equal 360 divided by six because there's six sides and six vertices. Okay? So a regular hexagon has six congruent external angles, so we divide by six. And the measure of each exterior angle of a regular hexagon is 60 degrees. Look at that. And supplementary angles, we know that this angle measure right here, because that's a straight line, if that's 60 degrees, that interior one would be 120, wouldn't it? Because it should be 180 degrees, right? So we would be able to find the interior angle measures too, wouldn't we? We can find the value of A in polygon RSTUV. We can see they all have an A, don't they? With a coefficient. And we know that they should all total 360 degrees according to our theorem. And we combine all these like terms and we get 20A. And that equals 360. Now we divide by the coefficient 20 and we find out that A is equal to 18. If a diagram is not provided, try drawing the polygon yourself. Remember, the word regular is necessary to solve these problems. Regular polygons are equilateral and equiangular. Okay? Now take a look at these. This is just a giant version of this. This is the opening of a camera lens. And you can see it says F14, F2... Okay? In fact, that might be F1.4. Yeah, that's 1.4. Okay? So the aperture stop of a camera lens can be adjusted to control the amount of light reaching the film or image sensor. And it's the aperture stop. You might hear it called the f-stop. It's formed by 10 blades, and the blades overlap to form a regular decagon. So this white shape on the inside is a decagon because it's making all these little sides. See? Ten of them. So what's the measure of angle CBD? So it's kind of hard because this is black, but CBD would be CBD. So it's within this pink area here, okay? That's what we're trying to find. Well, angle CBD is an exterior angle of the regular decagon. This is the interior, so that would be the exterior. And by the polygon exterior angle sum theorem, the sum of the exterior angle measures is 360 degrees. So the measure of angle CBD is 360 divided by 10. That equals 36 degrees. A regular decagon has 10 congruent external exterior angles. So we divide by 10. Okay? Our next lesson is relations and functions. That's going to be the last one for 6.1. And we're going to talk about domain and range and making a function table just to give you a quick review of what we did in Algebra 1 last year so that we can move on and use that information in our next lessons. Okay? Have a great day. Keep up the good work. Hit that like button for me, and I'll see you later. Bye.